morning, everyone. Hi, uh, good morning. Good morning. So this is day two, Symphony mm -hmm. of the Seas. How'd you sleep last night, Tony? I slept well, but I'm going to share with everyone what oh, I no. use, what I brought with me. So these, this is a, uh, it's headphones. And you turn it on from the front, it has little speakers in the back, and you put it on like a headband. And why do you need that, Tony? And why do I need this? Because Rich snores very, very loud. Now, at home, Sorry. we have the um, window AC that makes noise in addition to the central AC, but here it's very quiet. So I have the, um, the Voom package. I was able to put on YouTube my sleep sound, which is just like white noise, and I put on my headphones, and I put myself right to sleep. So this is great. I got this on Amazon. We are in no way affiliated with Amazon. I'm just showing it to you. Um, I think they make a few different kinds, but I love it. I use it at home, and I used it here. So... What do we have going on today, Tony? Before I talk about what we have going on today, let me explain my morning. Oh, yes. Why don't you explain <laughs> that, Tony? So, um, there is no outlet in the bathroom for a hairdryer. And I didn't want to use the one they have here because it's very small. You have to hold the button in. I brought my own. Unfortunately, Rich, if you pan over there. Well, here's all of the outlets. And you can see we've got all of our electronics there. But, mirror right there. And then what's up here, Tony? What's that up would here? be the a heat or smoke or fire detector, wouldn't it? That, that, that would be. That, that, that would be, wouldn't it? Okay, so come on back over. So, I was drying my hair. Rich was in the shower. And all of a sudden, the alarm went off. I shut off the hair dryer, look up, and look what's beeping. The next thing that happens, I get a phone call from the bridge asking if everything's okay in our cabin. <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm drying my hair. So the heat from the hair dryer set off the detector, but there's really no other place to dry your hair where there's a mirror. So needless to say, my hair is still very wet, but it's okay. It is okay. I, I told them I would move away. So that was a fun, um, fun morning, oh, yes. especially for Rich in the shower. He hears alarms going off. Okay. Um, I also didn't mention yesterday these little green bands. I think in the past they've been purple. Here is green, and this shows that we're vaccinated. We have to wear these all the time. And this is so we can go into different shows um, and areas for vaccinated people. Okay, so today, right now it is 7.45. We are getting early ready. People. It's early. We're early people. We're getting ready. We're going to go to breakfast. Uh, we're going to the Windjammer. Yep. Okay, Windjammer. And we have a busy day today. It's a sea day. Um, we're going to see the Broadway show Hairspray. Very excited about that. And we also have dinner tonight at... Zoomy. Zoomy. So that we have also. And then there, um, there's a comedy show. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of different places to go to. Plus, we're going to check out the ship. We're going to talk to different people. There are so many lovely people on the ship. And you really get to see them a lot since there aren't so many people on the ship. <laughs> so it's very nice. So join us for more adventure. And we're going to breakfast. See you later. Okay, we're in the wind jammer. We just finished washing our hands. Yep. Put your pants on the side to show the thing. Okay, very good. So included... With your um, with your fare for the cruise ship, you get different juices. Okay, there's a tropical mango, there's kiwi, there's iced tea. You have water and you have coffee and tea.
16 and older and vaccinated. Great adult only area, nice and relaxing. Check out all they have to offer. To do here. There's so much to do, and it's only the second day, and so many people are really good on the flow rider. But here we have the zip line. Someone's getting ready to go on the zip line. If you just check that out, they're just about ready to go, and here they go. Professional zip line. I don't know about professional, but it's <laughs> zip lining. Zip line, people are playing pickleball, and what they did say to us that when the ship is more crowded, they have about eight different teams and they alternate. But this morning, it's not as crowded obviously because the capacity is down, so they have two teams, so they've just been playing their tournament together. So, and we're hearing that there's about maybe 2,800 on board, about 2, still a little bit under half, right? That's right, that's right. But you still, still, you still see people walking around. Different areas do seem a little bit more crowded. Let's not forget how, it's how a How are the pools, day. Tony? The pools? So you asked me the pools? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to go check there, out There the wasn't pools. that many people there. There weren't. There weren't. And usually, again, on a sea day, you would find the pools jam-packed. They're not. So you can really get everything in. Now is a great time to cruise, to be honest with you, because it's just you're taking advantage of everything, and you feel like you are really VIP. Oh, yeah. Really, and, and all good. the employees, they're just so happy to be back. They are so nice. Everyone is so nice and everyone is very excited to be back. Okay, we are going to do the little comp competition. I'm usually pretty good at those. In the schooner bar, schooner lounge. Yeah. Maybe I'll have a drink. Maybe you'll have a drink. Sure. Because it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Not here, but who cares? But who cares? And that's what we're going to do. I'm sure that uh, we'll do all right here. I think we'll do pretty good. I don't think we've ever done a riddle one. No, no, no. Plenty of trivia, but no riddles. But no riddles, so let's find out. What deck do we have to go to? Uh, down. Down. We need to go to six. Actually, uh, I think it's on the other side. But let's go down and see if we can get that from here. All right, yeah, I'm with you. So there was a mix-up. The uh, trivia, even though it said, sorry, the, the riddles, even though it said that I was in the schooner bar on the app, the paper cruise compass said on air, the on air bar, down one floor. Well, that's so, the first riddle that you have to solve. You have to solve getting there. You have to solve to figure out where it is. Well, you know what? We did after it started, I guess. Well, so we'll see. Okay. We, we may miss the first riddle or two. Well, I think but we'll give it will. a shot and kind of see what happens. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Well, what's I'm the sure prize? I'm sure it'll work out. So what's, it'll be good. What's the prize for winning? I don't know what the prize is. Oh. The prize is we get to go and play. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Maybe they'll give us a crush good floor. So we just played the riddle game. 
at the on-air bar, and I will tell you, we did terrible. So the highest score was 13 out of 15, and we got 6 out of 15. Not so good. Not the best of riddles, but you know what? We had fun, and we Absolutely. got our minds working a little bit. So We're warming up for the trivia, the big trivia. We're warming up for the trivia, but I'll tell you, if you're on Symphony of the Seas, check it out. It's fun. Have a good time with it. We're having pizza. Yes, we're having pizza. We decided to stop at Sorrento's for lunch. We're not super hungry, so um, we know we have a big dinner at Azumi. Hibachi. Azumi tonight. Can't and so I got the vegetarian. What did you get? Just plain cheese. They're a little light on the uh, selection right this moment. But more were coming out. Mm -hmm. so we just didn't want to wait. Yum, yum. We're going with that pizza. Time for snack. Time for snack. We had um, pizza at Sorrento, and now we got some dessert. Don't know <laughs> what we're doing next. Got to figure it out, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be fun. We're going. At one o'clock, we've got some trivia. Trivia, but we're going to walk around and we're going to check out some more things, talk to more people, get in more trouble, see what's going on. You're good at getting into trouble. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, I am. This is an escape room called Escape the Rubicon. Now, it is really fun. We are not going to do it on this cruise because we already did it on Harmony of the Seas, but it is really fun. We had a great time. So check out Escape the Rubicon. I found a cruising duck. This is from the Morris family in Beaufort, South Carolina. And look, it's a cute little Halloween duck. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to hide it again. I have to figure out where though, because I found that spot. I'm gonna hide it somewhere else. Okay, I found the spot. <laughs> not very hidden, but okay. Well, somebody <laughs> might not see it. We'll see. We'll find out. There you go. We're on our way to see Hasbury. That's the next stop on our journey. Very exciting on a sea day. We planned hairspray for today so I've been waiting for that show and I believe they have two or three showings of hairspray so yep. we're excited we planned it for today and then uh, immediately after this pretty much uh, we've got to run to Izumi Izumi for hibachi we love hibachi. Hibachi. yes we do so that's exciting Izumi will be next <laughs> Getting ready for hairspray. It starts in 11 minutes. We were starting to fill up, and I thought they had like every other road locked off originally, but it does not look that way. It looks like everybody's oh, just yeah. wherever, pretty much. Now, on top, it's every other Welcome road. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah, you yeah. look down in the front, the the first row. So, we just came out of hairspray. They had some technical difficulties, I believe, with the sound and the electrical, whatever it was that they had going on. I think it was the set pieces moving. The set pieces. So the show actually extended an extra 10 minutes, which brought us late for Izumi. So we left probably before the last number, but the show hairspray was Amazing. fantastic. It was really, really great. The singing and the dancing and the storyline, it was great. So now we're going to head to Izumi to eat dinner. I'm excited because no we, have, we haven't eaten there yet. Can't wait. Oh, you want me to get turkey? You want me to close my eyes? <laughs> 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 Whoa, Japanese cowboy. Get that, get that, get that, Oh, 
So much fun. They put on a fabulous show, even better than any um, show I've seen at a Japanese restaurant. It was really, really fun. And yeah, the chef was fantastic. He was very, very funny. He was. He was funny. And we had a really nice table, and everybody there was enjoying themselves. So that worked out really good, and the food was delicious. And they give you very big portions. So highly recommend Izumi. And then the Waiter came over at the end. He was doing card tricks. He was doing card tricks. It was really, really cute. So they go just above and beyond everything here. They want everyone to feel really special. They ask you so many times, do you need anything? Is everything okay? Are you enjoying your food? Just really nice. And the funny thing is that I turned around and said to Rich, I forgot for a minute that I was on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was just sitting in a Japanese restaurant, and then I turned my head to look out the window, and, and I see the ocean. There's the ocean. And it was such an incredible feeling. So there is nothing that beats cruising. I am so happy yep. we're back on a cruise ship. That's all I have to say. Hey, Tony. Yes. Where are we off to? We are going to the comedy show. Ooh, I love laughing. Yes, I love the comedy show. That's going to be fun. So we're on our way over there now. Yes. Yes. We got an right. uh, 8 o'clock show. Awesome. Let's get going. Okay. Getting ready for the comedy show. I'm very excited. Love comedy shows. Do you love comedy shows, Rich? I love comedy shows. Let's take a look around. Check it it's out. It's definitely full. They are not social distancing. Um, and uh, mask usage is not here right now, but that's all good. Everybody's vaccinated. Everyone's vaccinated. And it's going to be a full crowd tonight, it looks like. Yep. When you're in a vaccinated venue that is only for vaccinated mm -hmm. guests, yeah. when we went to see Hairspray, we also took yeah. our masks off. Yeah. So you didn't have to wear it. So it's uh, going good, the protocols. It's really I good. Think, and, uh, it is. It's, it's going still great. feeling pretty much like normal cruising for the most part. Yes. And it's fabulous. We can't record in here, so uh, we're going to have to get going. And uh, we'll touch in and... Basically, probably say goodnight after this. So, uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. We just came out of the comedy show and we had a really good time. Awesome. It was awesome. Uh, the first guy that came on was very funny, but the second guy was more um, improv. improv. He was more improv. His name is Laundry, L A N D R Y, or Landry, L A N D R Y. Yep. He was very funny. He interacted entirely with the audience yep. and it asking was nice. questions and just riffing off of what they had to say. It was uh, it, fantastic. It was and very, very funny. And the whole, uh, it was at the attic and it was completely filled. Completely mm -hmm. filled. Um, they will be having another show in the main theater, which would be more family friendly. This mm -hmm. one was an adult only. I think he also said that there was another uh, adult show in the theater too that was going to be totally different, so we may have to check that out. Yeah, I think, yeah, I would love to. Mm -hmm. We love comedy mm -hmm. shows, so mm -hmm. that was really fun. And then we came um, over to, actually, I will tell you something, the ice cream machines. Yes. They're not open. Um, I don't know when they're open, but usually at night you can go and the machine is open and you can get yourself a cone. They're yeah. completely closed. Um, the only time they serve it is when a crew member is serving you the ice cream. And I'm yet to see the ice cream machine open. I've seen other people say that they're open during the day, but we haven't quite passed by when they've been open no, just yet. No, and I've seen people walking around with ice cream cones, but at that point, I don't think we were looking for ice cream. So Rich wanted an ice cream cone, and I wanted some kind of oh, you did too. snack. <laughs> some snack, yeah, you're right. So we ended up coming to the, what 
where are we? The promenade? Cafe, Cafe promenade. promenade. Cafe Promenade. So got some coffee, got a snack, and it's nice to just sit here and people watch. And, well, it's um, kind of quiet. Um, it is it quiet. It's a little bit busier. I have a feeling it should just run out. Probably. But it's been pretty slow over here. It um, has been. Tonight is formal night, so you will notice there are people that are very dressed up. Um, and it is formal night. Although I did see people going into the main dining room not dressed up. I saw, saw men flip -flops. in shorts, flip flops. I saw people in denim jeans. Um, of course, we didn't go in because we went to Izumi, and in Izumi it was very casual. But um, so yeah, so that's what we are. That's what we're up to now. See you in a little bit.